Welcome to Ra Online. Today's topic is uh, fever in third trimester in pregnancy. So let us come to the various kinds of fever with mother can have in third trimester. So it can be a maternal dengue, and maternal dengue in third trimester is associated with preterm delivery, low birth weight, fetal growth restriction, stillbirths, fetal distress, vertical transmission to newborn from mother to baby. Problems can also happen in maternal dengue due to uh, preeclampsia associated. with dengue antipartum hemorrhage or placental abruption associated with dengue or secondary infections associated with dengue so how to diagnose this maternal dengue we understand that ns1 antigen is usually positive in the first 7 days of fever and initially uh, the igg and igm antibodies will not be positive so in the febrile phase only ns1 antigen is positive igm and igg antibodies usually come in the critical phase uh in the post if the patient is having igm antibody and ns1 antigen is negative and igg is negative that means she is in the recovery phase and if the baby is having igm positive that means um, the baby has got dengue infection from the mother and we should also check for the uh, these antibodies on day 25 after the delivery of the baby to understand whether these antibodies which the baby had were from the mother or from the baby from the baby new newborn dengue infection now as the severity of dengue increases so in severe dengue associated with dengue hemorrhagic fever dengue septicemia shock syndromes and hypotensive syndromes and the dengue with warning signs like abdominal pain renal failure ascites pleural effusion there are more chances of newborn complications so as the severity of dengue in the mother increases there are more chances of newborn complications so how does a newborn dengue present so newborn can acquire dengue if the mother had dengue within 10 days of delivering the baby now congenital dengue can occur when there is insufficient time for transfer of maternal protective antibodies to the fever to the fetus and viremia in the newborn persists for 7 days an infected newborn may be asymptomatic or it may show varied signs of infection so baby can have fever macular papillary rash thrombocytopenia hepatomegaly pleural effusion bleeding and shock the affected neonates may be become symptomatic up to 11 days after birth so baby can either be symptomatic or asymptomatic and if symptomatic the baby usually presents as fever macular papillary rash fall in platelet count hepatomegaly pleural effusion bleeding and dengue shock syndromes so up to 10 days the baby has to be kept under watch if the mother was dengue positive because baby can develop these symptoms within 11 days of 